Hello, so here is um, someone named Smagown, <laughs> and they wrote FSS CMC Simon Says, and it was made with the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express using that block editor, um, and it also does JavaScript as well. Um, and I wanted to show you that. It's really fun when it's loaded up on the Adafruit. Code in block script for the Simon game, and you can uh, notice up here, uh, you can click on JavaScript, and it'll show you the actual code that is needed. But let's go back to the visual representation. I think it's really nice. What if I can make that a little bigger for you? There we go. Um, and over here is your typical, you know, what kind of lights you want to use and input. There's also some advanced functions as well. I'm going to minimize advanced functions, and I'm going to get rid of the inputs. And we're just going to kind of take a quick look at some of the code. Here's another neat function. If you hit that little arrow, well, hello there. There it is, and it actually is running the code. Um, things I wanted to point out, notice on the board there's these touch sensors, A1, 2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. When playing this game, three lights will illuminate. Kind of the bottom three here will be A1, so when that beeps, you touch that with your hand. And then on the next round, notice there's going to be a little overlap. The upper right will be one, two, three, four lights. Or one, two, three lights. I'm sorry. I think it is just three lights there. And that you touch A2 or A3. This like 3.3 vo uh, volt won't do anything. The ground won't do anything. You really have to be a little conscious. Um, let me just show you a little of the gameplay. So green, yellow, yellow. So green, yellow yellow. So that's a successful cycle and then it'll do four um, different sections as Simon is, and then five and so forth and so on. Um, it starts, uh, you'll notice a lot about random numbering. Well, th the randomness is you need to have random patterns. You don't want it to be the same pattern every time. Um, I'm going to kind of zoom through it. I'm not going to go through every line of code. So you'll see the section. Um, so for example, A3 if you find A3 on the board, upper right, A7, lower left, and then over here A1, which is lower right, and then the code goes down here a bit if you scroll down, and then here we have touch A4, upper left, so that covers all four quadrants. And then we get into, uh, see so here's some more random stuff, functions, um, and now here's the breakdown of showing the ring and what lights um, to show. So for example, this is the upper left, and as we know, upper left is what, A4. So A4, and then it'll play the sound middle B, and that's that boop, that tone, and then it pauses for 200 milliseconds. You can change these values just by clicking on them. It's kind of cool if you want to change the sound, you can change the colors, whatever you want to do. Um, and then here's some more code about um, a similar sort of thing, and if, um, Oh, one thing I should show you up here that's kind of fun is at the end of this level of sequences, it'll show um, if you get it wrong, it plays the wah, wah, wah. So let's just do it wrong on purpose. So I'm going to play the wrong thing. Wah, 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 wah. And then it continues to play on. So it's really cool. Um, I'll put a link to where to get this. Now, when you're done, with your code, you click this download button and it will download a file. You can see it right here and it tells you kind of next steps. You do have to plug in the Playground Express, which I have. <clears throat> you press the reset button, it's flashing green right now. And when that happens, it'll show it mounted. So let me show you the windows. So here it is, I have done that, I've clicked the button and it mounted it as play boot and right here you see it says current UTF info and then info underscore UTF. What you simply do is you take the Simon UTF and you draw, just drag it and drop it and it loads it. And then I'm trying to remember, I think I had to do a reset on it again, you know, just press the reset button and it loads it. Sometimes it, uh, I can't really remember exactly, but sometimes it automatically loads the code. Okay, it's time to check it out. So here it is. 
it is loaded, but right now it's in kind of this state where you can load fresh code. So I'm gonna hit the reset button. Okay, oh, got it right. Green, red, red, green. So I hit A1, A7, A7, A1. Green, red, red, green, green. Oh, it's different every time, which is nice. I like the little tones. Oh, yellow, here we go. Green. And now this one's A4. So as you can see, it works really well. I'm gonna do it incorrectly on purpose this time just to kind of get it to make the wah 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 sound because I love that, it's hilarious. Wah, 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 wah. And then it starts over.